What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. Sorry it's been so long. Been super busy. So much has happened with PSA, the Pokemon world, and just so much in these past couple weeks, actually. Um, but to just kind of get into the video, we got the PSA return back already. I'm shocked because I just sent this off at the end of January. It is currently um, March 4th, so we got it back pretty quick, actually. And I already opened these boxes, but I did not take them out and look at them yet. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. And we'll start off with this box. And as you can see, I haven't even taken anything out yet here. But let's get some of these cards out here. All right. This is super exciting. All right. Let's take a look. Oh, it looks like we do have some of the Pokemon stuff there, too. I thought that was only the Yu-Gi-Oh side of things. Let's, let's just go ahead and get them all out. Let's just get them all out and take a look here. Looks like they sent me something here. I don't know what that is, but we'll take a look at that later. All right, so here are all the PSA cards. All right, let's look. All right, yeah, this is a, probably the back of the submission. We'll see here in a second, though. All right, so, hang on, let me, let me take a little peek here. I want to do that, save that one for last, so we'll start out with this pile on the right. Well, now it's on the right, but all right. Whew. Okay, this is pretty big, so we got the Blue Eyes White Dragon. This one just came back as a six. I was a little disappointed in some of the grades, but most of them I expected to get around what I got. Um, some of these were just childhood cards that I really thought would be cool to slab and uh, keep for myself. So this was one of them, the Blue Eyes White Dragon from Starter Deck uh, Kaiba Evolution. So the next card is gonna be the Dark Magician, which also got a six. Really cool though to have it. And these are ones, these are first set, these two. Um, these are ones I've had in my collection for like 20 years. They just kind of were in a binder. So they weren't perfect, but had that sentimental value. So this one's just really cool. This is the Speed Duel Tournament Pack 1 Red Eyes Black Dragon that I pulled on the channel. This one got a 9. Not really sure why. I think it's a centering issue now that I'm taking a second look at it. It's definitely uh, more thick on the right side than the left. So it's definitely miscut. Well, not miscut, but off-center. But that is a beautiful card, the Red Eyes Black Dragon. Speed Duel, Tournament Pack 1. Next card, the Blue Eyes. This one got the Gem Mint 10, which is super awesome. This is a big card right here. For Speed Duel, at least. So that is pretty sweet. Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Gem Mint 10. I think that is my first uh, 10 Blue Eyes that I own. Next card, we have the newest edition of the Red Eyes from the Mago Maximum Gold set that just came out not too long ago. This one got a nine. Um, just a really cool card. Thought I should get it graded. So if you've seen my last video, you, you know what all these cards are. But this one got the seven. I don't know why, because it came out of literally the same uh, pack that the Red Eyes did. In one of my other videos, you see me pull these both out of that pack. So, don't know why that got that. This is another Blue Eyes now. This one I was a little bit disappointed. I think it deserved at least a 7. But it's uh, the original started at Kyla Blue Eyes, White Dragon, obviously. Beautiful card. This is the one I've kept from when I was a kid. But it got a 6, so whatever. Um, just cool to have in my collection. I didn't really care what grade it got. I would have preferred to have gotten a 7. But... Um, I didn't really know why it graded like that, so gonna have to take a closer look off camera. Lots of pretty cool cards in this submission, though. Here's the Blue Eye Shining. This is the one I actually got from the movie theater. Also got a six. So once again, I expected most of these to get around here. Some of them I was pretty disappointed in, and this one I, was, I really wanted to get a higher grade on, but. 
Uh, this is really cool still. This one I just sent in because I love this card. And Secret Rare Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon looks awesome. Came back a seven. Still really cool. Love that card. Next card we have here is the Trihorn Dragon. Pulled this one on the, tra the channel. And uh, that one came back a nine. So that's a beautiful Secret Rare from Legend of Blue Eyes. And that was the reprint that I pulled, reprint packs that I pulled that out of. All right, now these ones I was really upset with. I'm actually happy that this one got an eight, the Dark Magician. Um, this is a beautiful card. Just think it's really awesome. Ghost Rare, and I'm so glad to have it back here. But this one, this next one, I'm really upset about this one here because this was one of my favorite cards. Um, and it only got the six. I don't know why. I know PSA has been harsh lately, but this is beautiful. And I got this uh, in the same lot that I got that Dark Magician. And this thing should definitely be higher than a six, in my opinion. I don't know why they graded it like that, but not as uh, prominent in Yu-Gi-Oh! submissions as I am Pokemon. But I've done a good mix now. So, all right, so here we have the, oh, what is that on? The, oh, okay. Thought there was something on the slab there. The Winged Dragon of Ra. This one only got a six, but the other two graded really well. They both got nines, but you'll see that here in a moment. But this was really cool. This was from the Xbox game. So I'm going to keep going with the Yu-Gi-Oh for now. I don't want to show these ones just yet because these are some really big cards. And one of them got an awesome grade that I wanted to show. So these are the last two Yu-Gi-Oh. I'll just go ahead and pull up. We got Obelisk. This one got the nine. That is beautiful. I knew that that would grade pretty good when I got it from the guy. I bought a huge lot of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh from him. And then the Slifer also got the nine. And when he said these were mint, I, he was right. I mean, they're pretty well-centered and everything. So they're nice looking cards. Would have been really cool to have gotten those in the uh, 10 though. But obviously that's what everyone would prefer. So I'm trying to go off the bottom here and go the same way I did the submission. Here's the Pikachu VMAX that my little brother pulled with me off camera. That got the 10. Super cool card. Uh, just thought it was cool. Wanted to send that one in. So that's cool. Got another 10. All right. I'm kind of just going to go off the bottom of that. The Blastoise. Now these ones I did not expect to get like 8 or 9 or anything like that. I just wanted to get some more base set cards slabbed. Because obviously you can see all the scratches and stuff on the actual card. But I just thought it would be cool to have another Blastoise. I have the nine of this already from an earlier opening when I bought some base set packs from uh, TCA Gaming a long time ago. But uh, here's the Venusaur. I don't have this in PSA, so that was my first Venusaur um, PSA from base set. And then here is another big card, but only got the five, the Charizard. But I did not expect this one to, to grade high. These uh, three starters that I submitted here came out of a uh, a light play lot that I had bought a while ago. So I was just happy to get in a Charizard in the uh, base set in PSA. Now this one, I knew I wasn't going to get a 9. And I definitely knew I wasn't going to get a 10 because of that print line there. But this is the Chansey that I got on Pokey Rev's first uh, base set box break. I bought three packs, and I hit the Chansey and a Nido King. Chansey got an eight, and Nido King is coming up, and this one I believe got a nine. Yep. So there it is, the Nido King base set. I already have this in a ten that I had bought, but honestly, this one looks nicer than the ten I have. The ten I have is like super off center, and it's an early uh, grade certification number. So. All right, we're getting into the big stuff here. The The biggest card's on the very top of the stack, so I'm trying to save that for last. We got the Entei here. This one I knew would get at least uh, eight, so I'm happy about that. This is a beautiful Black Star promo, Entei. I had a ton of these, and this was the nicest one I had, so I am happy with that. All right, what is this? We have the Pikachu's Birthdays. All right, so we got a bunch of these coming up. 
This one got a six, but a few others got decent grades, so there's one of them. Yeah, we're coming towards the end of this now. I think this is all Pikachu birthdays. Yeah, we got another six. So we'll put that up there. The eight, two eights actually. Those are beautiful. Love those cards. So those are the Pikachu birthdays. And we got the Mew uh, Black Star promo coming up. I gotta sleep. I gotta put these all on sleeves. All right, so there's five of these and then that's the last card. So here are the Mews. And these are really nice. Um, they came back with decent grades. I think most of them were sevens and eights. Which that one's got a nice hollow swirl right in the middle of it. Um, I want to keep these in order, but whatever. I'll just put them on there. So we got the 7.5, which is my first uh, mid-grade. I've never gotten like a 7 point five or any point five really but that's a beautiful mew 7.5 and then we got two more psa 8 so i think there was three psa 8 mews and this one i really like because it's got that hollow swirl and that one does actually as well so those are beautiful two psa 8 mews now we are down to the final card the big enchilada the holy grail definitely the king of my collection and probably a lot of other big collectors out there and this one obviously had some damage on it we already knew about that it had the the crease but it graded a five i couldn't believe it so here it is the base set first ed charizard i actually have one it's like kind of weird holding it in your hand but i bought this last year raw for around uh 2200 bucks i think it was Really glad I bought it because I just thought it was a really cool card and I wanted one for myself and I didn't expect to get it graded, but as time went on and I saw, you know, the popularity rising and everything just going kind of crazy, I was like, yeah, I should probably go ahead and get that graded. So really glad I did because PSA just upped their prices um, right after I did my submission too. So I got really lucky. It was like a week or two after. So, well, you know what? Let's take another look at this Charizard with the other one. That just looks so freaking nice. Holy crap. And if you hear my, uh, my, I got my mom's dog in the background. She's running around. Sometimes you could hear her chain. But, uh, wow. Super awesome video. Um, trying to do more Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh stuff here soon just haven't been able to buy it it's sold out everywhere in retail so i just ended up biting the bullet and paying extra for a uh, shining fates elite trainer box so that's gonna be coming up and probably gonna be doing some form of a booster box if i can get one because it's just really hard to find them right now decently priced so we'll see what uh the future has but i thank you guys so much for watching um this was a really big submission for me Definitely wish I could have gotten some better grades on some of those cards, but for the most part, I'm just really happy to uh, get them back and extremely grateful that I got the grades uh, and everything submitted in a timely manner before the price hike. So anyways, guys, thank you so much and uh, see you next time.